Hello folks, this is my first attempt at guiding with my CGX mount, and so far it looks pretty good. Um, it's, it's not nice outside, it's 20 degrees Fahrenheit and it's breezy, it's, but if it can hold up like this, you went on a day like this, then I'll, I'll be satisfied with it. Uh, I'm going to keep my eye out and uh, see if I spot any backlash. Uh, this mount is supposed to have less backlash than my AVX mount. And right now, it looks like things are on target over here. And the numbers look uh, very low, comparable to what I was getting on my AVX mount. And I always thought my AVX mount guided pretty well. The scale is obviously big. Let me drop it down and see what it looks like here. Yeah, it's a little bumpy, but like I said, it's breezy right now, and and maybe my mount isn't balanced as well as it could be. I, I'm not going out there in that freezing weather to, to double check it. So right now, I'm going to say, okay, it, it's good enough for now. So we'll see. Hello, folks. I am back again, and it's about uh, five minutes later, and... The mount is still performing the same as it was before. I like keeping the scale big. It makes me think my guiding is good. As long as these numbers on the left stay low, I think that it, it's pretty good. And everything seems to be on target. But I'll, I'll blow up this, this graph and see what it looks like here. That's not too bad. I'm actually pretty happy with that because I know it's breezy outside. So I can live with that. All right. And, let me, and right now... There's so much light pollution outside. I'm just doing HA today on the Rosette Nebula. The, it, with the, my neighbor's lights and the snow and it reflecting off of the snow, I've tried it before and it's hell. So I'm gonna, I'm just doing HA. It's the only thing that blocks all that light. Narrow band and you can see the Rosette Nebula already in a single raw image here. I'm gonna capture a bunch of them as many as I can until it hits the meridian. Then I'm coming in, it's, it's too cold. Uh, it's, it's, this nebula is bigger than I thought. I didn't know it was going to take up the whole the whole image. So it looks pretty good. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, folks, I am back one more time, and uh, it's about twenty minutes later. Guiding is still holding up pretty well. Um, I haven't seen any backlash yet. I'm I usually would have probably seen something by now with my AVX mount. So um, right now it's living up to its billing of uh, less backlash. Uh, the guiding is not too bad. And let's blow it up again and take a look. Bumpy, but I told you before, it's, it's breezy. So I'm not complaining about this. And I was going to show you one more thing. I've stacked the first four images that came through on the Rosette Nebula and did a little bit of processing. I, I didn't incorporate any calibration frames yet, so this doesn't include darks or flats or bias frames yet. I just wanted to see how it was looking and each exposure was five minutes, so that's 20 minutes in all with that. So it's not bad for the first 20 minutes. I'm going to keep going on this until I hit the meridian, then I'm going to wrap things up. Okay, thanks for listening. Hey everyone, it's probably two hours later now and guiding has been performing like this the whole time. It's really good. In fact, um, and, and from my point of view, it's good. I'm, I'm not sure what others think. I wouldn't mind seeing some comments. Uh, right now, in this stretch, I've only seen one declination correction. Let me blow up the graph again. I don't know what other people think of that, but I think that's pretty good. So let me know. Okay, I'll see you later.